Hello everyone, Happy New Year! Well, it's the first day of 2022 and the first day of my new series, Vacuum of the Month. Now, I've done it in the past, I didn't do it last year, and I'm not sure I did it the year before, but I did a poll on YouTube and people wanted to see me bring Vacuum of the Month back. So basically, in Vacuum of the Month, I pick one vacuum from my collection and use it for the whole month in my home. Just using it normally, I'm not putting down extra dirt, I'm just using the cleaner to pick up the day-to-day -day dirt that occurs in my home. So each month I'll be picking a new vacuum, and at the end of the month, or the start of the new month, I'll be discussing my findings and then showing you what I'll be using for the following month. So, without any further ado, let's see what January's Vacuum of the Month is going to be. Here's your first clue. It's a cylinder model, a mains-powered cylinder model, with a hose, obviously, a wand, and a floor nozzle. Another little clue there. Let's just bring it in. That's right, I'm going to be using my newest vacuum cleaner, the last new vacuum I showed you in 2021. It's going to start 2022. I'm going to use the new Miele Boost CX1 Cat and Dog. Yes, for the month of January, I'll be mainly using the Miele Boost CX1 Cat and Dog. In fact, I've been using it on a daily basis since I showed you it on my channel a few days ago. And to be quite honest, I really like it. The main downside of this machine for me is the fact it's bagless. If this had a bag at the back instead of a bagless container, it would be even better. I'm not a fan of bagless vacuum cleaners. I've said it time and time again on my channel. I'll use them. I demonstrate them. But for my personal use, if I was only to choose a couple of vacuum cleaners to use, they would be bagged vacuum cleaners. But this is bagless, it's what people seem to want, but it does require extra maintenance. Now, I'm not going to save up all the dirt. Previous Vacuum of the Month series, I would save up all the dirt I'd picked up during that month and I'd weigh it and then compare it with the previous cleaner. It's not really a fair comparison because the amount of dirt you get in your house does vary across the seasons. You might be bringing in more dirt during the winter than you are in the summer. More mud that dries on that needs picking up. There's different types of dirt to pick up throughout the year. So it's not always a fair comparison. But what I am going to show you is the dirt I've picked up with it so far for the few days I've been using it around my home. And I've no, by no means cleaned every single room in my home, but I've cleaned a fair bit. And in use, I really like it. So it's early days yet, but I'm, I'm quite a fan of this machine, to be honest. I like these restyled heads. This one works on my plush carpet. Now I do have to open the vent. Now I found the best setting on this carpet is with the vent half open, which you can do like that. You can have it fully open for deeper pile or fully closed for short pile. For the carpet I'm kneeling on now, I find the middle setting is ideal. But for all the other carpets in my home, I have it fully closed and it works fine. It just glides over the carpet. Really pleased with that nozzle. And I even like the standard nozzle. I've used this on regular carpeting as well. And of course, when you press on the pedal, it's suitable for hard floors. So all in all, I, I do like these floor heads. You can make or break a vacuum cleaner with the floor heads that comes with it. You can have a very decent cleaner, but if it's got a poor floor head, then it can ruin the machine and vice versa. You can have a fairly poor cleaner, but put a decent floor head on it and you've got a better machine. Now, because I've been using this, we can see the condition of the filters. So here it is. I'm going to empty this out. It's got, I'm quite surprised about the amount of dirt I've gathered over a couple of days. So that's the dirt that's in the bagless unit now. But one thing that I have noticed, it might be easier to show you if I take off, I'll just close it. And you can't avoid getting dust on the outside of this. When you empty it, 
you really need to wipe this down with a damp cloth on the outside. It's not a clean way of disposing of dirt. But anyway, one thing I've noticed with this, we'll take off this panel here. Right, well I can't show you now because it's dropped off, but normally there is quite a thick layer of dust and hairs stuck on this little mesh here. Now all this can be rinsed through, um, easy to clean, but you do have to keep cleaning it. So if I, I'll just empty out and show you what I've, I've picked up the last time I used the machine. So basically this is the dirt from one room I think, oh there's some toenail clippings there, we'll cover those up. This part here, you can see this fine dust here, this bit, that is what gets stuck to that mesh. Every time I've emptied this machine, and I've emptied it a few times since getting it, there always seems to be a layer of, of dust and debris and hairs etc on this mesh part. I'm going to clean everything up when I finish this video and start from afresh. So that's what I've picked up the last time I used this machine. And in this bag is all the dirt I've picked up so far using the Miele Boost CX-1. So there you go. And that's by no means every room in my house cleaned. It's the main living room, it's the kitchen, it's most of the upstairs, um, some of my bedroom. My two flights of stairs have had a good deep clean with this machine. And you can see, it obviously does a very good job of picking up that dirt. This is pretty impressive considering, well, it's been a handful of times I've been using this cleaner, but it is a, it's dirty. If I had a Miele bagged machine, all this would be compacted inside a bag and I'd just continue to use the machine for weeks, a couple of months maybe, until the bag is packed full and then I'll just pull out the bag, dispose of it, nice new bag. But obviously we've got a compromise here, you don't have to buy, buy new bags, but there's a lot more maintenance. So anyway, I'm going to keep the dirt because it's quite useful to use in uh, demonstrations. I'm going to have to vacuum up again of course this fine dust and dirt here. But what we can look at, so you saw the dirt that this cleaner's picked up. And what I'm going to show you now is the filter system. So this is the pre-motor filter. The first filter, I suppose, is this mesh. So let's have a look. Right, well, as you can see under the pre-motor filter, is all that dust. So this is the first filter sponge and as you can see there's some light dust on it but that side isn't bad look that is pretty clean and consequently it means that the inside of the pleated filter has also remained pretty clean and so obviously the outside of it should be even cleaner still. So the air passes through this filter, passes through this, and then it's still filtered again with the exhaust filter, the exhaust HEPA air clean filter. So that looks fairly dirty, but not shark dirty, considering how many times I've used this machine and the amount of dirt it has picked up. But as I say, I've used it normally. If I was to put down a load of dirt and try and pick it up in one go, I think this filter would clog a lot quicker and I might try that experiment later on in the month. But there's dust around it. If you've got allergies, folks, do not buy a bagless vacuum cleaner because you do have to maintain it. That, I'll, that could do with a wipe down. I'm gonna, as I said, I'll clean it all and start from afresh from today and then we'll look at the filter at the end of a month. I'm not going to touch it. At the end of the month, we'll have another look. So we'll put that back in there. And I'm going to give all this out, this container, a good clean out as well before I start using it. It is the 1st of January today, and I will be using this machine today. 
but after this video I will just clean everything out we'll start afresh for the first day of the year and you can see inside there it's there's dust in there in the in the main cyclone of this machine where you've got this mesh but there's nothing there's no hairs trapped around that so far and of course we do have the the built-in brush to help us clean that pleated filter but as you saw so far that pleated filter is fine I won't need to do any cleaning I'm just going to wipe around the edge of that with a damp cloth just just wipe around the seals but yeah, it's a dirty business. Bagless is dirty, folks. And I don't care how many hate comments I get. I'm stating a fact. Bagless vacuum cleaners are dirtier than bagged vacuum cleaners. Especially if you're using a decent bagged machine with a, a HEPA bag or a high filtration bag that traps most of the dirt. Not all of it. Some of the fine particles do pass through the bag, but they're trapped by the filters. But the filters, in my experience, do not get caked in dust. If you're using genuine bags like a Miele bag, SIBO bags, even pneumatic HEPAflow, the filters will, after a lot of use, get some dust on them, but nothing like the dust you'll get on a bagless vacuum. Okay, so just you can see as you there's always going to be muck on the outside of the container. No matter how careful you are when you take it to the bin and empty it dust flies up and will go over the outside so if you've got allergies empty outside and also have a damp cloth with you and just wipe the whole outside of the container before you bring it back in your house i don't know how they manage on the dyson watch the dyson commercials and watch when they show you the machine being emptied and see how marvelously clean the canister looks when they press the button it empties it reveals a spotless canister obviously that is not genuine. In real life, you, you never have a spotlessly clean canister when you empty it. There's always going to be dust residue left inside. So, inside the machine, it's, it's still all pretty clean. And there we go. I've got used to it now. I, I, I don't tend to try and lift it up by that handle anymore. Just have to remember that the handle is on the front it's good on stairs I've cleaned the stairs both ways I've held it in one hand and cleaned the stairs with the other but it will also stand on a stair and I'll show you all this in the future video but it will fit on a stair this way round and it's best to have it in front of you on the step one or two stairs above you stand in front of it so there's no way it could topple down the stairs um, but all in all yeah, it's very dinky, it's very compact, it's pretty light, it's relatively quiet. I'm, um, I'm quite a fan of this machine. I've purchased an additional attachment for this, which I will be using during the course of this month, and I'll show you what that is. This is the additional attachment I've got for this machine, the Miele Turbo Mini. It comes in a box like this. And at the moment, this is about £25 on Amazon. It's normally about double that. So if you want one of these, I'll put an Amazon affiliated link below the video. This will fit the Miele in this video, but it will also fit all other current Miele vacuums, apart from, I think, possibly the Triflex. Although saying that it might fit the Triflex, but it wouldn't work very well. This is really designed for mains powered Miele cleaners. And it's a very good turbo nozzle. I've used it on my stairs. It's good on the upholstery as well. It's a good quality nozzle. We might as well put it to good use. Pop it on the end of the handle and clean up this mess.
So I can highly recommend the Miele Turbo Mini. Even if you don't have cats or dogs, it is very good on the stairs. It just helps to bring up the stair carpeting. It'll also be good inside your car, especially on the car mats. With a bit of extra agitation and the brushing action, it does help to pick up the dirt a lot easier. So highly recommended. If you want one, as I said, if you go to amazon.co.uk, click the link below anyway, and uh, you'll see this. As I said, at the moment it is £25, which is a good price for this machine. But I think it would have been better. It's cat and dog. Miele should really supply it with the cleaner. There is a Miele cat and dog bagged machine in black that Amazon also sell. I think it's £250 at the moment. But that comes with the nozzles this machine comes with. It comes with the standard carpet and floor head. It comes with the TurboTech nozzle, but it also comes with the mini turbo as well. Plus, of course, your three additional small tools. So for £250 at the time of making this video, if you want a bagged Miele, I think that's one of the best value because Miele's cat and dog version, the red machine, doesn't come as standard with the mini turbo nozzle. It used to back in the day, the previous versions, but now they don't, or the, I think the solution model might, but certainly the one in Amazon for 250, it's black. That's the best value bagged Miele if you want all the additional accessories. If I can find them during the course of January, I'll be adding extra accessories and using them. I've got a very long flexible crevice tool for Miele that fits this. I've also got what Miele call the universal brush, which is like a long dusting brush, which is ideal for shelving and doing large areas of hard surfaces. But all in all, I'm quite looking forward to taking this for a test drive for the month of January. As I said, it's early days, but I do like this machine. It's got a nice long cable. It's very nimble, it's very compact, and certainly, in my opinion, a massive improvement on the Blizzard, which is very big, a lot heavier than this machine, and nowhere near as convenient to use as this Boost CX-1. Well, that's it. My vacuum of the month for January 2022 is the Miele Boost CX-1 Cat and Dog. Don't forget to tune in on February the 1st when I'll be giving you my full verdict of this cleaner and introducing February's vacuum of the month. In the meantime, throughout January and all of 2022, I'll be uploading videos on new and vintage floor care appliances and maybe the odd laundry and dishwasher appliance too. So if you don't subscribe, please do so. Click the bell icon and you'll be notified of all my new uploads. So until then, thanks for watching and I'll see you all very soon. Bye for now.